So let's take a look at these three types of sensors. We'll be looking at uh, an MLX uh, non-contact IR temperature sensor, an a AMG 8833, which has a resolution of uh, 8 by 8 pixels, and a Lepton 3.5, which has a resolution of uh, 160 by 120 pixels. So let's get to it. Okay, so here are the sensors that we will be looking at. Uh, first one is a non-contact IR temperature sensor. So this is a, the MLX90614. So it's got a temperature range of uh, about negative 70 to plus 380 degrees centigrade. Uh, interface type I2C. So its resolution is basically just one dot. So you, you point it at something and uh, it'll tell you the temperature of that. Uh, next, we have the AMG uh, thermal camera sensor. So it's an 8x8 camera sensor. It has a, a smaller range, uh, 0 to 80 degrees centigrade, uh, with a lower accuracy, maybe about 2.5 degrees. So this one will give a bit of a picture but only in 8 by 8 a pixel resolution so you'll see this later in uh, when we try it out next is uh, you can see it so that uh, thing there it's a lepton so we have uh, three of them so I think this is a lepton 2.5 uh, same thing here 2.5 and this is the 3.5 if I'm not mistaken. So the Lepton 2.5s uh, have a resolution of uh, 80 by 60 pixels. So that's a pretty decent number. So it, it, it'll be able to give you a very uh, good enough picture to identify stuff like, you know, people or animals. Uh, this one is much higher. So it's a uh, so 160 by 120. So it's a uh, four times the the number of pixels that we have with the lepton 2s 2 2.5s uh in terms of interface yeah i said that this one is uh, uses an i2c interface this one uses also i2c now this particular board this is a i have something so this is the same board as that this was the original Lepton dev board, so it uses SPI and the uh, I2C. But I have not been able to get it to work, you know, consistently. Uh, yes, it works. Then after a few minutes, uh, the display is all black. You have to restart the the thing all over again. So it it hasn't been reliable. Uh, now. I've been using these boards. So this is a pure thermal mini, or maybe just a copy of it. But the interface of this is now USB. So you won't be able to just connect this to a you not know, something like an Arduino. So you'll need to connect this to a PC laptop or maybe a mobile phone. But this has been quite reliable, so the images uh, have always been consistent and I haven't had any problems with it. Again, the only downside is you're going to need a PC or a phone to see the images. So in our test, we'll just be looking at uh, this one, the MLX, the AMG, and the Lepton 3.5. And let's see what they look like. Okay, so we have uh, the three sensors now mounted. So this is a uh, an Arduino Nano. So that's where the MLX and the AMG are connected to. Uh, and then, so that's uh, using one USB connection to my laptop. And then here I tape the, uh, the Pure Thermal and the Lepton. And this will also be connected to my laptop with another uh, USB cable. And I'll also be using uh, this. So this is a uh, remote thermal, a thermal uh, sensor. So we can get a 
reading from this just to get a comparison and here we go as you can see i'm here's the three displays so this one uh it's just a number it's reading out the temperature in degrees that's being read by the mlx uh, this one it's the 8 by 8 uh grid image being given out by the amg uh, so the brighter colors are the hotter ones and the darker colors are the uh, colder ones and this the you know, the purple and red and yellow the colored one is the output from the lepton right here so let's try it out with a cool drink there you go so it's a cool drink so if you can if you take a look at the display over there so it's reading like a 30 degrees I don't know how accurate that is so it's reading something lower so it's a 27 28 don't think that's very accurate but anyway uh, you can notice from the uh, AMG so it's mostly light now so I guess it's reading me so if you pass the cold drink over it so you can see the it's reading a black and of course on the lepton you can actually see me there behind the uh, camera so the darker color registers as a something colder so let's try it with something uh, warm so let's see so let's try it with my hand first so the MLX seems to be broken it's not reading things right so it is showing a higher temperature but I'm pretty sure that my hand is let's see 36 so there's something wrong with this MLX and you can see in the middle uh, right here so as I pass my hand through it gets brighter and of course you can see that pretty well on the lepton uh, so let's see if we try a uh, lighter so 31 degrees it's not just 35 so there's something wrong with this particular sensor but you can see it also in the middle there you go uh, the AMG seems to be working pretty well and of course on the lepton yeah you can see it it's pretty nice so that's it it's a pretty good uh, experiment for now uh, just taking a look at these three different types of devices so uh, what do i use these things for it's mainly because i since i work a lot with uh, you know making circuits and electrical stuff uh, i actually use the lepton mainly just you know, I just focus on some of the circuits I make and then you know, when I turn it on, I at least get to see if something gets hot right away so I can turn stuff off and not wait for it to melt or blow up. So it's pretty useful. The AMG, uh, not very. Uh, I haven't actually used it for anything, but I have... Uh, did I, I've tried some experiments before just to use it as a sort of a person indicator you know when somebody's passing through I think they use the AMGs mostly for uh, air conditioning units so they can detect whether a person's coming into the room turning on the air conditioning and stuff like that uh, for the MLX it's pretty good for uh, you know detecting something that's passing through a certain point or a an imaginary line so maybe you can use it for an alarm system or something like that uh, but the MLX that I have seems to be defective but these things you know uh, this one's pretty good so I use it also for you know uh, experimenting with and uh, whenever I experiment with a circuit so I just check the power supplies to see if something's heating up before I got the leptons okay so that's it and we will be uh, doing a lot more things with these devices so i hope you enjoyed that preview and gave you some sort of idea on what sort of things you can you can do or experiments you can try
Okay, so until next time, see you guys.